Hello, clever kids. Now, we have done multiplying and dividing by two and multiplying, dividing by 10. It's now time for our five times number facts and dividing by five. Now, these are the funnest number facts because you can do a little dance as you chant. Here, I have already written our multiples of five. Now, it is a pattern that goes on for infinity and beyond. You probably have already seen this and heard it before. Let's do it together. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. What's next? 50. Add a group of five. That's right, 55. How about after the video as a class, see how far you can get by adding five to work out how far you can go in your five times number facts. Now, how do we work it out? Well, our five times number facts are great because we know that five is half of, da -da -da -da, 10. So each time we know that two groups of five or two fives equal, that's right, 10. One group of five is five. Two groups of five is 10. Three groups of five is 15. Four groups of five is 20. Can you see, look at that. It's four groups of five, but it's also two groups of 10, 12. Five groups of five is 25. And six groups of five is 30. That's right. Now, you have to keep practicing and practicing your five number facts because the more you practice, the quicker you'll be able to learn them. And when it comes to dividing, you'll be able to use what you already know. Don't forget that there are number families. So multiplying, dividing are like cousins and you'll be able to use those numbers to work out the pairs. Now here is an example of dividing by five. 35 equals, hmm, 35 divided by five. Well, we know that six groups of five is 30. So seven groups of five must be 35. Oh, 35 divided by five equals seven. And I know that's right because seven multiplied by five equals 35. Or five multiplied by seven equals 35. So I've worked out my dividing by five, but I can also check my answers by remembering my multiplication. Go for it. 